<laughs> let me keep it a buck fifty with you guys. Wait, let me try that again from the start. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with every with you everybody. Everybody you meet in this game is a snake. You can't trust anybody. They're all out for your blood points. There's snakes everywhere in this industry. I'm out of here. I'm sorry, Julie. I just... I, I can't watch you and then get bad victim habits. Because I'm honestly thinking there's a chance this becomes the next eSport. And I want to make it to EVO. I'm going to be sunny at EVO. It's going to be me versus Daigo. And Mango. And all the other O's. Take me to the next match. Leffen. I don't know... <laughs> Again, the company formerly known as Twitter, it's got me pegged in a couple of different ways. And none of them are the way that you're thinking based on my verbiage. It thinks I love the National Basketball Association, which I'm learning to. I am learning to. It thinks I'm obsessed with um, legitimizing animated children's films as Kino Cinema, which I am not. But I must have clicked on a Spider-Verse tweet at some point, and now it just assumes that I want to hear, you know, all about... Raya and the Last Dragon and, uh, you know, the box office performance of Elemental and stuff like that. It also thinks I love Super Smash Brothers. And I, I suppose in some ways I, I, I like Super Smash Brothers, but I'm not tuned into like the melee competitive scene at all. But it serves me competitive melee tweets 25 times a day like now I have to have an opinion on is it okay to um, rope your opponent well you know they had a stock advantage so why would it's a principle of fighting games that if you have a stock advantage and there's a timer ticking down to zero then why would you be forced to approach them they have to approach you yeah but at the same time you've got to think about um, what uh, the, the experience is for the spectator melee esports has always been uh, a little bit uh, it, it's, it's on its last legs or something like that. I don't really know. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but at the same time, you know, it's, uh, we've got to entertain the audience. Otherwise, the audience will leave and start watching Valorant. You're part of the discourse? Well, I just think it's funny that everybody's... Now we've got... First off, five years ago, everybody was talking about maybe we should ban uh, Jigglypuff because Hbox's Jigglypuff is so dominant that it makes the, the competitive meta not enjoyable to watch. And now Hbox is out here saying we got to ban Steve from Ultimate because uh, Steve is making the competitive Ultimate scene too boring to watch. Like, it's just... I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what any of these things are, but I get served the tweets... Like, a hundred times a day. He knows, he knows. I don't think I've ever seen one... I, I, it's not an anti-melee thing. I just, like... I don't think I've ever seen almost any eSport except for that, like, one summer that I was, like, in the competitive Dota. And then I got married. <laughs> Which they may or may not be related to me washing out of the eSports industry. I'm just saying... They, those two events did happen, you know, within like three months of one another. I had to make a choice. Men, in front of you, there are two paths. Who was your favorite Dota team? I mean, I'm, you got to remember, I'm old as dirt. I think I was always rooting for Na'Vi. Because they had Dendi. And I, I enjoyed Dendi's troll tactics. Like, for example, um, doing a Vengeful Spirit swap to place an opponent on a, an island where they could no longer escape from, or fountain hooking, hooking someone with Pudge into the fountain, uh, so they would get killed by your ancient. I guess that's not the ancient, but you know what I mean. Well, I'm, I'm, this is what's called a gravity assist. This is why Steph Curry is so good in the NBA. Just my presence on the court is uh, pulling so much aggro that the rest of my team has a lot more court to work with right now. Ball knower. <laughs> Somebody was enjoying that My Singing Monsters video. Look at this. <laughs> <clears throat> no! Victim noise is awake! That means Grandpa's awakened because somebody got out of the basement, right? Or did we just make too much noise as a squad? Why I didn't keep still to avoid detection by Grandpa. What's wrong? That's a foundational move in this game.
It was the baby. 